interrupt this intro to bring you a message from the board. We are the board. Lower your shields and surrender your ships. We will add your biological and technological distinctiveness to our own. Your culture will adapt to service us. Resistance is futile. Welcome back to the Music Nest Art Podcast. It's your boy again, Louis Love from the Music Nest. And in this special episode titled Poetic License, Borg versus COVID-19. That's right, folks. It's the big battle. Uh, Borg, the arch nemesis of the Starfleet Federation from the TV series Star Trek versus COVID-19. The current pandemic running across the world, wreaking havoc on the lives of many. Who will win in this epic showdown between Borg and COVID-19? So to give a bit of background on this nonsense podcast that I'm making right now, we're making a comparative analysis between Borg, who are these species from the sci-fi TV drama Star Trek, The Borg are these humanoids, automatons, that are controlled by a single consciousness. They are all connected telepathically, and their one mission, their one goal in their existence is to seek perfection. And they seek perfection by assimilating all other civilizations, thereby gaining technological advancement. Any cultural uniqueness that another civilization may have will be added to their own. So they're quite badass and they don't really give a flying foo who you are. So the Borg are the arch nemesis of the Starfleet Federation. Pretty heavy stuff and uh, they're pretty powerful. And we can draw a few similarities, really, if we take the Borg as a phenomena with the current phenomena that is existing in our Uh, earth climate right now which is COVID-19 of course you know everyone's aware of this it's a virus it's going around and it's given us it's given a lot of people a lot of problems with the disease and it's causing a few many 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 to die and what is the purpose of it what really is the purpose if we think of this in an existential sense can we just say oh it's just some random virus that was released accidentally or purposely and it's just doing its thing trying to survive or is there a higher order to it is it trying to is it trying to change us in some way for our betterment or is it just trying to kill us is it mother's nature trying to just get rid of us because we're so toxic to the environment with all our gases and all our all our extraction of the fossil fuels making you know the earth air just more and more polluted or is it trying to you know transform the humans into a more peace loving sustainable species you know so What is it all about? It's kind of hard to know, really. So in this podcast, we're making this comparative analogy between the Borg and COVID-19. Both are kind of assimilating other civilizations in a sense. Of course, you know, COVID-19 is just going into the lungs of people and, you know, wreaking havoc and, you know, having having a heyday with their with their lungs and using their using their cells to manufacture more of themselves you know more virus more virus spread it out everywhere and go fucking crazy but fuck hell now we have the old borg you know and they're pretty mad at it too just going around the galaxy and just wreaking havoc and just not giving a fool confluing you know about who you are and what you are and what you might be and maybe if you're a nice person or not they're just there to assimilate you take your technology and just you know seek their own agenda so you know that's what's going on here and to give you the poem of COVID-19 it's a poem that was sent to me a while back from um uh, from my godmother would you believe so shout out there godmother um I'll leave her name out of it just in case she does want to be on the old uh the old podcast but uh, I got this poem and uh it struck me very deeply because Uh, It took a perspective of that COVID-19 is not a harmful, well, of course, it's harmful, but it's not like this, you know, evil thing, this scourge or on the earth. It's here to help us, you know, it's here to give us a perspective. And in some ways, you know, us as humans, as a collective society, we've kind of lost our path, really, you know, like we're all driven, we're all educated to you know you have to grow up you have to have a good education get a good job you know make 
make good money, build a house, have a baby and repeat, you know, and all the while we're all rushing to do that and we're just forgetting about the world that we live in. We're, you know, taking full advantage of the earth's resources without giving a flying fook about, uh, you know, the, the, the damage that it does and especially for our future children, you know. Um, if we keep uh, depleting the fossil fuels, you know, there's not going to be much, you know, the Great Barrier Reef is almost completely bleached out, you know, we're, 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 we're we're doing a pretty good job of killing this earth. So maybe the COVID-19 is is here to transform our way of seeing things, you know. All in all, you know, it could be an accident, probably it is an accident, but you know, there's a higher order to things. That's my belief anyway. So um to not take any more time, I'm going to give you the message from COVID-19 written by the poet Christian Flints. I don't know how to pronounce it, we'll just go with that. And um yeah, it'll be spoken by uh, yours truly. So enjoy, and uh, we'll be back after the poem. Stop. Just stop. It is no longer a request. It is a mandate. We will help you. We will bring the supersonic high-speed merry-go-round to a halt. We will stop the planes, the trains, the schools, the malls, the meetings the frenetic fury rush of illusions and obligations that keep you from hearing our single and shared beating heart, the way we breathe together in unison. Our obligation is to each other, as it has always been, even if, even though you have forgotten. We will interrupt this broadcast, the endless, cacophonous broadcast of divisions and distractions, to bring you this long-breaking news. We are not well, none of us. All of us are suffering. Last year, the firestorms that scorched the lungs of the earth did not give you pause, nor the typhoons in Africa, China, Japan, nor the fever climates in Japan and India. You have not been listening. It is hard to listen when you are so busy all the time, hustling to uphold the comforts and conveniences that scaffold your lives. But the foundation is giving way buckling under the weight of your needs and desires. We will help you. We will bring the firestorms to your body. We will bring the fever to your body. We will bring the burning, searing and folding to your lungs that you might hear. We are not well. Despite what you may think or feel, we are not the enemy. We are messenger. We are ally. We are a balancing force. We are asking you to stop, to be still, to listen, to move beyond your individual concerns and consider the concerns of all, to be with your ignorance, to find your humility, to relinquish your thinking minds and travel deep into the mind of the heart, to look into the sky streaked with fewer planes and see it, to notice its condition, clear, smoky, smoggy, rainy? How much do you need it to be healthy so that you may also be healthy? to look at a tree and see it, to notice its condition, how does its health contribute to the health of the sky, to the air you need to be healthy, to visit a river and see it, to notice its condition, clear, clean, murky, polluted, how much do you need it to be healthy so that you may also be healthy, how does its health contribute to the health of the tree, who contributes to the health of the sky so that you may also be healthy. Many are afraid now. Do not demonize your fear and also do not let it rule you. Instead, let it speak to you in your stillness. Listen for its wisdom, what it might be telling you about what is at work, at issue, at risk, beyond the threats of personal inconvenience and illness. As the health of the tree, the river, the sky tells you about the quality of your own health. What might the quality of your health tell you about the health of the rivers, the trees, the sky, and the all of us who share this planet with you? Stop. Notice if you are resisting. Notice what you are resisting. Ask why. Stop. Just stop. Be still. Listen. Ask us what we might teach you about illness and healing, about what might be required so that all may be well. We will help you if you listen.
and welcome back to the Music Nest Art Podcast special episode titled Poetic License COVID-19 versus Borg or vice versa. So there you had it, folks. Um, the two poems, one by the Borg and the other by COVID-19. And um, we're doing this comparative analysis. Now, what did you think? Free field to text in at 1-800-237762 and we'll be sure to answer your questions. That was 1-800-273-7762. Yes, we're jumping the multiverse here. The numbers seem to change. Um, so here we are with the Poetic Licence special episode, Borg versus COVID-19. What did you think of that? I thought myself it was quite interesting, really. You know, with the previous uh, description also reiterated that perhaps the COVID-19 is a good sign and uh, it's a message for us to all wake to wake up, you know, and uh, to realise because it does have a point about the whole pollution aspect and how we uh, use energy, how we get our energy to uh, charge our um, tools, you know, and how we uh, use it to support our life systems, such as uh, heat and, you know, fuel and all these other ways to make food, you know, they're all reliant on some sort of uh, energy input, you know, how is electricity uh, energy created? Of course, some would claim that there are better ways to uh, harvest the energy uh, from from our environment for our own needs and uh, that the burning of fossil fuels and um, uh, is, uh, is, uh, is not the best way. Of course, there is a sustainable movement out there. And um, and, um, and, um, and, um, and, 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 and recently I actually watched a oh. a documentary called Planet of the Humans. And um, uh, it talked about how renewable energy really isn't uh, renewable uh, in that the way to uh, use renewable energy in a lot of ways, in a lot of ways used by a lot of companies um, is actually using a lot of few fossil fuels to, to exercise the machinery that is green, you know, like biomass and something, you know, turning like wood from the trees into like fuel. Uh, to burn and whatnot, but yet the machinery used to chop down the, the trees and whatnot are all like uh, uh, dependent on uh, fossil fuels such as crude oil. So it, it didn't really make any sense. Whether it's true or not, I've no idea, but it was very alarming to learn that. So, um, like the Borg, we are the Borg have their own nanobots and these are nano probed into you and uh, what they do is they simulate your body, you know. So in some ways, it's kind of like a virus. That's another comparative analysis we can make uh, with COVID-19. Of course, COVID-19 is virus. Sorry there, no, it's not a virus, actually. It's the disease, and the virus causes the disease. The virus is SARS-CoV-2, FY fucking I. A virus is just a set, simple set of instructions, you know, some RNA, DNA, and, um, like, by themselves, they don't really do anything. Uh, so the scientists say... But when they are instructions are executed on uh, cells uh, to multiply, then they can uh, they'll do what they do. But what is the purpose of it? Is it just random? Like what really is it there for? I suppose it's kind of the same question with cancer. You know, we know how cancer is roughly caused, but why is cancer created? You know, you know. Okay, the dead cells. Why? Why is this? Why is this this response from the body? to do this, to create this tumour, you know? I guess it's, oh, it's just the build-up of, like, byproducts of, you know, dead cells and whatnot. Perhaps. But I'm trying to poke at the deeper aspect of what, um, you know, the uh, the virus is, you know, or the cancer, or why, what's the function, you know? Maybe it's just wishful thinking, and, you know, it's just the capacity of the human to try and inspire meaning into everything that is... You know, you know, you know, you know, meaningless, bit nihilistic in view, perhaps, but you know, carry on, live away, do what you need to do. You know, is that is that what the world is in now? Is that we have we lost our our sense of connection to our spiritual ancestry? You know, you know, go where the dollar goes, mate. You know, honey, that's where I go too. You know. You know, you know, another you know. another day down, another dollar earned. You know, is that is that the true meaning of it all? God, you know, survive to breathe another day, survive to eat. You know, it's just, is that it? Or 
am I just stereotyping everything, you know, and you this, know, and this the is, world around me is not like this at all and I'm completely quack, <laughs> you know, you know. I don't know. I, don't know. I suppose no, all the information no, I receive no, is from, you know, the education that I've received to a large aspect and the culture around me. But I'm sure it's not too unlike what other people have gone through. There's, so there's some validity of truth to it. Anyway, anyway. I'm not infallible. No one is, I suppose. Unless, well, infallibility is a topic for another day. Um, um, so that's it for this podcast. Um, it's been it's been a special episode. We might do more like this. We're um, taking different uh, aspects of art and literature. Um, <laughs> Borg. We are the Borg. Yes, it's more based on an entertainment TV series. However, Star Trek, I think, is a bit more than your usual uh, TV show series. Um, Obviously, I'm a big Trekkie. Trekkie, Trekkie. There's a lot of good stories in there, you know? Go check it out, guys, if you haven't. Original series. Um, 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 it's, 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 it's cerebral, let's say that. And, um, and um, yeah, I thought I would take this, um, you know, a bit of comic relief. Hope we're all doing good, you know? Take these objects of phenomena. My heart goes out to anyone who may have been afflicted uh, directly or indirectly and are suffering from the pandemic. Um, you know, all is impermanent and all will carry on to the next, um, you know. So, gotta look on the bright side of life. And we'll leave you there, guys. Thank you very much. We'll see you again. Love you. Love you. This Love is Louis you. Love signing out. Keep it real. Keep it low down. Keep it high. You know, we're going to go to space and it's going to be amazing. 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 So, big ups, peace. Keep it, you know, shanty. 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 <laughs> Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Guru Baba here again. And I just want to send love from the deep to you on this crazy time experiencing around the world. And to take you out from this podcast, I know a little bit mad this one, but hey, sure, poetic license. We have this track called Clown Clock the Timekeeper by the band Auto Magic from Taiwan. Please enjoy. Time.